Hello, how do you there, Jams? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, Jams, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I'm playing a bit of No Man's Sky, and I'm still on my treasure de hunt. Yes, I am. So let's jump on over into game, and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so, if I bring up over my catalogue items here, we go over to this. Oddities Record, or Wonders Catalogue, as I tend to call it. Right, well, I'm hoping to get this one, I think. Um, it looks like it's one of those cursed objects, so I'm going to go and do a derelict freighter run or two. Now this could this could take me a while to actually get it to pop, because you have to loot the heck out of a derelict freighter. I've already cleared out all of my inventory space inside of my person, well, as much as I thought I had. I've, I've got a fair bit of clear space. So we go and do a run of a derelict freighter. To do a run of a derelict freighter, I've got to buy one of these distress beacons from the chappy over here. Where's he gone? Oh, he's round here. <laughs> I missed him completely. Hello, mate. Yes, I'd like to buy one of your your sort of doohickeys. Give me a doohickey. Thank you very much. Lovely job, Lou. I've got one of those. Lovely. And uh, they do cost quite a lot. You can buy one a day if you really want to, and it keeps the price down. But the more you buy in a 24-hour period, the higher the price gets. Now, sometimes Helios... Not Helios. Yes, Helios. Inside of the Nexus. Good old tree face. He actually gives you one for free every now and again. But he does he hasn't given me one for freaking ages, mate. I have no idea why he doesn't give me a freebie. But here we go, let's um let's go and freaking try and bring in a freighter. Now you can be lucky. Some of these freighters sometimes have very rarely any bad guys in them. Sometimes they have loads of bad guys. But it doesn't really matter how many bad guys they've got, it's the loot that matters. So I like it where there sometimes there's a load of freaking they look like lockers in a row, and you can just go run and do all of those, and you get loads of loot. Anyway, let's jump on out, let's go and unseal these doors, and uh, yeah, I'll be right back with you once I've unsealed the door. Okay, people, well, those doors should be unsealing any second now. Uh, come on, doors, open. Open some what? Lovely jubbly. There we go. Doors have unsealed. I'm just going to grab this. And this box is right outside. You're going to get yourself a few repair kits if you do that. Right, oh, now you can just sort of scan. It highlights all the different chests that you can loot. So you can't loot that one. But you can see that there's all sorts that you can loot around here. Cool. I'll have you. Boom. Projectile ammunitions. Nice. Right, you see that sort of like orange sort of scan lines from the ceiling if you go and step into that the gun turret drops down from the ceiling and shoots the shite out of you so be a bit careful i want to loot all those sort of tablets as well because they're going to help you unlock the captain's log and things so let's run around here and let's see if we can loot this stuff on the table without getting scandicated by this freaking thing lovely jubbly and uh, oh look there's some of the lockers that i was on about people now the blue doors the blue doors they take you further into the actual map, whereas the purple doors, or the pink doors, are dead-end rooms, but you usually get quite a lot of loot inside of those. So let's have a look around, let's see if I've missed anything. I think there was a crate just here, yes there is, boom, we have that. There's one of the purple doors, like I was saying, and run through here. So these are all procedurally generated. Now if you do want to run the same one as me, I give you the coordinates in the bottom right, left-hand corner right now, peeps, so you can just hit that up. And that's going to give you the same freighter that I'm running right now. And also, you might have a similar sort of chance of getting a similar sort of loot, but, you know, it is all sort of procedurally generated and randomly generated and what you're going to get. But at least there's no sort of horrible scutters in here so far, people. So you see these things in these jars, these little creatures. Sometimes you get freighters with those sort of in these pustule things. And they pulsate and they pop and then you get loads of bad guys. Oh, fudge. Okay, well, I, I could show you, actually, um, because there's some inside of this freighter. So this freighter is not the best one to run. So, yeah, I, I'm, there are cheats in the ways to rerun these over and over again using the same sort of device. I have done videos on that before. I put the link up there. It's a bit harder to get it to work now with the way that they've done the auto saves and all that sort of shenanigans, but it's, you still can manage to pull it off if you're lucky. Right, I'm going to use the... Geology cannon, where not the geology cannon, this is the wrong multi tool. All right, okay, well, I'll find the correct multi tool. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use the neutron cannon. And I'm just going to blast it, mate. I'm just going to pop it open. So there would have been lots of little green guys. There's one, boom, I killed him. So this gun is very good at taking them all out, now, as you can see. <laughs> Freaking devastating! Nice, anyway, let's get the snippets of log. There we go, boom, boom. boom. 
And I'm just going to press on with this. And I'll let you know if I come across any of the treasures, shall I, people? Because this is, this is going to take me a while to clear out this whole freighter and get through it all. And then I'm probably going to do a rerun and then a pro perhaps another rerun until I get something half decent. Anyhow, oh, it looks like it popped this room as well. It looked like it done the whole blanking lot. Okay, well, fine. Just blast them to smithereens. This gun is so good for doing that. This weapon is just awesome. Pow! Might as well just clear the whole freaking room out. Then I can loot it safely, you know? Lovely. Um, and I need to stand by this. This gives you back your hazard protection. Sort of warms you back up again. Very lovely. Nice! Coolio. Anyway, I'll be back with you in a bit. I'll do a couple of these runs and I'll oh, let you know. I wasn't lucky on that one. You can see there I didn't get the captain's log either. But I didn't actually pick up anything inside of this one. No, heck no I didn't. Bit of a shame. Oh well, we will press on. We'll see if we can get a freebie from you know, good old Helios inside of the Nexus. But I'm fairly sure I won't. Anyway, I'll see you in the Nexus. I'll see okay, you. So I'm just going up this ramp, and there's good old tree face. He's opposite those two, you know, just here in this little kiosk here. Hello there, mate. Yes, hello. I'm after a freebie. Let me ask about derelict freighters. That'd be nice. Okay. Have my planet's data. Give me some nanites, and I'll talk to you again. Let's see if you offer me a free beacon. Um, no. Nope, they're not going to give me a free beacon. Darn it. Okay, well, I'm going to jump systems. I'm going to get another one of those detectors, and I'm going to see if I get lucky at the next one, people. Now, something that you can do is just change your difficulty to creative and go and speak to this little scrap vendor and buy a shed load of these things. So there you go, I bought another one. You can see there, it's quite expensive. Hence why I dropped it into creative mode. Then once you're done, just put it back into a normal mode and then go and run your derelict freighter. I mean, you could run the freaking derelict in creative mode if you if you don't want to die but there we go well, i mean the chances of death are rather slim anyway but yes i've jumped to a new system so i get a new freighter so at least i'm not going to get bored to freaking deers right then so here we go i can now pop one of these i've now got six of the things so there we go let's let's see how i get on i'm going to run as many as i can until i get a little bit bored or whatever i've actually finished my cup of tea already because i do take a while to do those freighter runs i'll be back right with you hopefully i get a new treasure well, people, I haven't managed to pop the actual treasure, but you may have seen that on the screen. I managed to pop myself a new title, 25 Derelicts Run. Heck yes, awesome. That one was extreme cold. You can see it's got three chevrons on it. it really depleted my freaking hazard protection, that derelict freighter. So I'm going to press on, and hopefully I'm going to find a derelict freighter that has got some sort of cursed object in it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's have a look. Soon. Let's see how I'm getting on. Into discoveries. Have I popped anything new in my wonders catalogue? No, nothing new yet, people. Nothing new yet. Okay. Well, chums, I was just pulsing around and this ship came in and asked for help. I'm going to give it my antimatter housing. Now, I have heard traders sometimes give you treasures if you help them out. So here we go. Let's see what I got. I got standing increased and I got given some nanites. So no, they didn't give me any treasures, but it was worth a shot, people, worth a shot. Anyways, I've got myself another signal detectory thingy, so I'm going to hit that one up, and I'm going to be looking for something new in space, people. Well, one of these derelict freighters. All right, people, hopefully I'll get a treasure well, this I'll time. do that. Chums, I just picked up a treasure inside of one of these freighters, and it was time-worn something or others. I think it was, it was something that looked like that, but it was green. That one. Time worn portraits. I don't think it's going to have done anything to my wonders catalogue, or if it has, it would have. Yes, I guess it's done that one. I don't know. Have no idea, but no, it didn't trigger anything inside of my portal. I mean, inside my catalogue. So, yeah, a bit of a shite. But there we go. This is what it is, isn't it? And carry on freaking harvesting stuff. Right, oh. So, I think I might make this my last one to run, because I thought it always gave you cursed stuff. But I guess there's a loot table, and I suppose the cursed objects is just one of the things you might get. So yeah, and I haven't had much fun running these. I'm finding that if they've got the little robot security drones, sometimes they hide up in the rafters, up in the roof. You can't freaking shoot them, but they can shoot you. And it's a freaking bind running these things now because of that little mini bug or glitch. Yes, heck yes it is. Right, well, let's head on over this way. Let's loot this one. Let's see if we get any more treasure while I'm in here. That'd be lovely, but I very much doubt I will. Okay, right. Well, let's open up this case over here. Anything in there? Boom. 
No, we got some units. Okay, well, let's get ourselves out of here. Let's see what sort of module we get in the end of here. I did get an S-Class one, one of my previous ones. I got a scanner, but um, yeah. No. Okay, cool. We're done. Let's get out of here. People, that was seriously like watching paint dry, but I, at least I got the title, 25 Derelict Freighters Run, which is good. Heck yes, I'm going to head on back to the station. I'm going to offload all this sort of stuff out that I've got on my person. Next episode, I'm going to go to a water planet, people. And I'm going to be going to some underwater relics to see if I can get some treasure from there. But there's so many ways to get the treasures unlocked inside of No Man's Sky. And each of them have got equal chance, I suppose, of turning up a decent enough item to pop something inside of your catalogue. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I've got for you, people. I finished my tea freaking ages ago, as you know. I'm going to go make myself a fresh one. In fact, I might get myself a coffee. I need to wake myself up a bit after doing that, peeps. God, that was freaking... I, I, I've run, what, five of them? I mean, I had six of those things to start off with, didn't I? So how many have I got left? I've got two. Actually, I've run four. I've won four, but it felt like I've run five, people. It's 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 painful. Painful, people, in the view of us. It's painful inside of the view of us. It really is. I'll I show you, and I've got... I've got, I've got two left. I had six. I had six of these. I've got two left of them. So, yeah, there we go. Simple math. I was thinking maybe getting a load more anomaly detectors. If I get a shed load of anomaly detectors from shooting asteroids, I could always do that as an, ex an episode. We can fly around and find a load of space sort of anomalies, couldn't we? Could do that. Could do that. That's another option. I think I'm going to do the underwater relics first and then save the best for last. I'll do that one last, people. Okay, right, people, I'm going to end off. So take care. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Yeah, I know. No treasures got this episode. Not real ones, anyway, peeps.